my tour has come to an end. In a couple of hours I will head to the airport to fly back to Germany. Honestly, I'm tired now. 55 days away from home, 20 conferences, 36 flights, our international team meeting and countless formal and informal meetings along the way. Of course the question arises, was it worth the effort? On the side of our NCD national partners who invested considerable energy in organizing these events, was this the right time and energy investment at this given time? On the side of the participants who gave me between six and nine hours of their lives, not counting considerable travel times, was I able to give them what they rightly expected, as the majority of them was not interested in spiritual entertainment, in church cosmetics, but was eager to see considerable changes in their churches. And finally, on my side, was this the best way of investing 55 days of my life? At almost all of our events, someone asked me, how have been the conferences so far? Are they good? Well, honestly, there is only one way of assessing this question. It's not the energy, really, that we felt at the different conference venues. That was quite high. And it's not really whether or not people liked my teaching or me as a person. And it's not whether there was laughter or tears or simply silence in the room. We had all of that. The only question that counts is this. In one year from now, what will have happened, future perfect, in the heads, hands and hearts of those people that the participants of the conferences have committed to empower? Will they have been grown and will they be eager to empower other people? Well, in order to address these questions, we cannot simply wait. We have to proactively take the right strategic steps, even if these are unpopular steps, because they may lead us outside of our comfort zone, a place that is by definition uncomfortable. But this is what we are exactly committed to do, to take whatever steps are necessary to help individuals and churches worldwide move a decisive step forward. And now I'm at the KL airport and finally have to say goodbye to Asia. It was great that I could meet here not only our Malaysian friends and spend quality time with them, but also our Indonesian and Chinese NCD national partners in order to discuss plans for the future. The world in the year 2050 will be a radically different world. No one knows the details yet, of course, but what we know for sure is that the world in the year 2050 will be far more Asian and especially far more Chinese. So in order to prepare for the future, we are well advised to focus our attention especially on this part of the world.